top 50. I was yeah, like, oh, I, I know. <laughs> I kind of don't play the game anymore, low key. Oh really? Yeah, I mean, I still do from time to time. Like, I kind of like. I mean, I'm in college. So like, Does you know. Oh, I forgot to pick Puff again. Yeah, I hate to see it. It's cool. We can do one of these. Wait, that's Rich missed before? No. No way. That's it's not Rich. He just made yeah, his tag that's Rich. That's you too. <laughs> I got defeated. Yeah. Oh, wait. This is you too. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, he's, he's playing Queen right now. Yo, that's my goat. For real, for real. I heard, like, oh, I wasn't there for it, but I heard, like, he dominated three tournaments for a while. Yeah, he was. He was pretty, like, it was, like, him and Rich were, like, the, the two Roys. That's <laughs> Roy here. I, I remember I played, um, Rich Mr. Ford on stream in some random tournament, and he, like, uh, tank cobbled me. It was really sad. I was like, no! Mm -hmm. Is that, like, the air dog scene? <laughs> oh, man. Only time like I had ever been on stream at that point. Dang, that's unfortunate. That really sucks too, cause with 3DS like it was rare to get streams. Yeah, it was. It was like no one wanted to stream or something. I, I, I didn't understand it. Well, it was just hard to like, cause you either had to pay for a capture card that had to get soldered on and that was hundreds of dollars, or you had custom firmware like I do, and so you had to mod your 3DS and it wasn't like a consistent 60 FPS. That makes sense. Yeah. And I remember too, dude, whenever I used to stream for tournaments, I used to remember, cause like, everybody wanted to be on stream, but it was so hard to, so I would just get bombarded with DMs of everyone and be like, yo, let me be on stream, bro, or like, please, I need to be on stream, and like, it was... It was rough. Did you just uh, stream Final Gambit tournament? Yeah, any major I did. I helped to stream out a few. Like, there used to be this weekly series called Dark Titan Saga. I remember I used to stream all of their tournaments, too. I didn't make nearly as many VODs as I should have. And then I would stream crew battles from time to time. Like, I remember Spring Fling, because that was the, like, the biggest major I think I ran. Ah. Uh, I, like... Uh, I thought it was a different date, and then, like, everyone was, like, uh, talking about it. I was like, oh, I can't wait, and it was like, oh, it's happening right now, I'm like, fuck! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I just remember, because still to this day, it's the largest tournament for Smash 3DS on Smash DG. That's its claim to fame. Smash DG, okay. Because I, I, I was thinking, is that, like, Genesis 3DS? Genesis no, Genesis 3DS, 3DS was Challenge, yeah. I think the yeah, largest yeah. tournament of all time is probably Genesis 3DS? Yeah, it had 256. Yeah, I don't remember how many people Ignis had. I want to say Ignis was had less. I think the biggest, like, uh, I guess more modern era, like 2018, was 240 entrants. With, like, uh, I think Marv's... Uh, oh, the Battle Royale server? Or, like, the... Yeah. The yeah. Because, yeah, no, yeah. I was about to say, I think before that, it was just, like, the Saga tournaments. Oh, Mini Evo. Dude, I don't know anybody that still plays that remembers Mini Evo. That was, like, early 2015. I, I think I, I was in there, actually. Dude, oh, Mini Evo was such a fun tournament. Because it was pre, it was on Anthers, it was uh, pre-Discord. Actually, no, never mind. There, there was, like, a Discord that had, like, an Evo name, like, Evolution or something. It could have been, like, a crew. Was there an evolution crew? I don't. I'm trying to think now. I don't remember. No, uh, I'm thinking like, you know, like 2017, like EJJ uh, had like a Super Saiyan Scrubs as a server. Mhm. Mm there was like this other server. I, I'm pretty sure it was called Evolution, and I think they held for it. Maybe so. I just remember because Mini Evo, that was like the first like 3DS major that I remember. Well, the first online, like for the community, because there was like a weird two months at the start of the game where like offline tournaments did like Pound did it, Fight Pit did it. Uh, like they had like offline 3DS tournaments for like two months, but yeah, I don't even remember who won Mini Evo. God, that was so long ago. Was it before um, Civil War? Yes, this was uh, definitely before tw Civil War. Damn. So, I, like, I've always thought ZGK versus Sonics was the first major. 
No, no, it was like by by like a number standpoint, it was mini Evo. I don't, I don't know if it had two hundred people. It was definitely close to it though, and it had pools into like final bracket. Who won it? I I really don't remember. I don't remember many people because I remember I played Spider Butt. Um, oh, Spider Butt. Yeah, dude, I miss him. Not my goat for real, for real. Uh, I remember Spider Butt. I feel like literally almost every single person that was around from like that like really early Anthers era doesn't really play. Well, Aklo still plays, but he plays Melee now. He was in 3DS? Yeah, he was a top 3DS player. Top 3DS Fox. Him and... I don't know if you remember Killa Cubs, the Samus. That was his brother. Killa Cubs. Actually, I, tried, I think I tried to get him into this fun maze. <laughs> yeah, dude, it was kind of crazy. I remember whenever he first like started like getting good at melee and i'm like that's like the same like 3ds aclo right like <laughs> was he like joining like bean corners no no he was an anthers grinder uh he was around for the early part of the discord era but he was like consistently one of the best players on anthers it was like him and imbub and dude i miss imbub uh imbub i i played him but i i think he didn't really care um during the time i played him was, because I heard like legends of um, him and Holy Dark. Yeah. During uh, Anthem era. Yeah, him because it, it was that insane Charizard, and then he also went crazy with. I think his Rob was Loki better than Gabe's, uh, like overall. Granted, Gabe played at the end of the game, and that was you know a little different. Yeah, uh, and it was told Mobo played Yoshi. He did play Yoshi as well. Yeah. But I played um, his Bowser Jr. And he, was, yeah, he was obviously just like messing around. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know who else yeah. played Bowser Jr. Oh, oh, dude, do you remember T Saw? T Saw, yeah, I remember T Saw. Dude, that's like the only other Bowser Jr. I remember. But he also played Cloud. No, he played Greninja when he made Greninja. Greninja? I remember his Greninja. I don't, I, maybe, was this before he was in SVC? Because whenever he was in SVC, I just remember Cloud Bowser Jr. Oh. Mm, I'm not sure, to be honest. I don't really know the timeline for him. I just remember he played uh, Greninja for a while. Maybe in BNG. So that, that might be after. Uh, okay, yeah. Because I don't, dude, I don't even, I know he's like a graphic designer. I don't know what yeah. else he does now. I, like all I really remember was um because he was the one who found out about the Japanese scene for 3ds. Is like, it a Japanese scene? Like is it a high or is it probably not? But like, is there a server? Uh, there used to be. I'm still in the Jap. Well, cause like because of him, I that's how I found out about like Suma Maid and all the Japanese players. I'm still in the Japanese Smash Four and Ultimate Nest Cords. Oh my uh, god. But, no, so it was, like, the Japanese equivalent for the 3DS's uh, SCS, basically, right? I don't know how in the world he found it. <laughs> like, it was just one random day on, a, like, in SVC, he was like, guys, I found this random Japanese server, and we all raided it, because it was just like, oh, it's kind of funny. And then we found out it's like, oh, this is, like, their, like, SCS, basically. Um, and so I remember I, I was, like, I asked him, I was like, yo, like, what's, uh... Like, who, yeah, who's the Nest dude here, like? And so then I met, uh, yeah, the owner of the Nest Cord. And then we were gonna have a Japanese versus USA crew battle. That never happened. Damn, I wish that happened, because yeah. I never knew that existed. The server's, like, I'm still in the server for it. Um, I need to see that. Please yeah, because it, yeah. it ended up being, yeah, yeah, USA versus JP's crew battle. Yeah. Dude... Like Recently, I learned, hey, you know, I mean, I guess it should be obvious, but, like, there's an EU server, uh, like, called Star Wolf. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I remember, yeah, we were trying to, like, figure it out. I was, like, because it was right around Thanksgiving um, in 2018, and then he was, like, they weren't able to gather people in time, and so they were, like, oh, let's do it in Ultimate. Um, and we did. It ended up being a Ness thing. Um, it was just a Ness crew battle. But it was, yeah, okay. USA versus Japan, all the Nesses from both uh, servers. Kind of so like it did end up happening but like yeah that would have been the event because instead we did the like the samba icon versus neo crew battle that was like the ending 3ds event but like 
that would have been the one crew battle right afterwards. That would have been like the definitive end. That would have been awesome. It's like countries fighting each other. Yeah, because the Japanese players that like did play in the North American stuff, I remember in SVC we had I, uh, Igoski. Dude, he was cracked. I've never heard of Igoski. Uh, yeah, he was an Olimar player. He still plays. Best Olimar on uh, 3DS. And he's one of like Japan's top Olimars. This is some nice um, lore. Yeah, dude, I have a lot. Yeah. Here he, he's a Smash Wiki. He's yeah, eighteenth on eighty seventh on the Japan power rankings, eighteenth in his region. He's beaten players like Mr. R, Kuritsu, Tenra, Logics, like yeah. He still plays. Awesome. Dude, I have nothing but lore. That's why the dock needs to happen, because I just I have all this yeah. lore that I'm like sitting on. Dude, we need this to happen. We need to make it. It'll be a thing soon, don't worry. One day. One day. Well, we're gonna. I think we should seriously like think about it. Though. Oh we're no, I've talk. talked with Kevin about it. My like deadline date is the ten year anniversary. So, like next year, October third. Oh, I, I, honestly, I, I was thinking about like bringing this up to you, but like I was gonna make the deadline like on like, January or something. <laughs> no, a ten year anniversary. I feel like makes the most sense because it's yeah. been ten years, it's you know. That would. We need to do this though. Like we, we actually need to like. Chop chop. <laughs> we haven't really done much. No, 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 no. I tried. I well, I did do this thing. We had player profile interviews, like. Mm -hmm. Um. So the goal was like, in the meantime, we were just gonna like interview like one person a week, um, and like make like a channel and like put stuff on there. Um, and I remember because I did the first one. It was with Krieg, um. And this was like right around the time that uh, I switched over like computers, so I switched to this laptop that I'm using for school now. And my little brother accidentally, like, deleted my account on the other computer. So there's... Yeah, there's a bunch of 3DS VODs that have been lost to time. There's a lot of, like, corrupted footage that isn't there anymore. But I lost, like, that interview, and I just didn't care to do another one with him. So I just, like, haven't done any since. <laughs> I have a lot of replays that I've just lost. I'm doing lost in time. Oh, the final... The final set and final... There's... Okay. Yeah. There's a PC Ninja vs. Canon Red set that I have the replays on my 3DS for, and I told them I was going to make a VOD for it, and I haven't. And it's been years. <laughs> Literal years since <laughs> since then. You didn't make it. No, I just forgot to. I got busy with stuff, and then I like couldn't be bothered to, and then... Oops. You know. Yeah, no, so, like, the VOD... I'm the only person who's ever seen the set. <laughs> Is it really that difficult? Just like um, record. I, I've never like. No, it's just time consuming. That's all. Uh, I see. It was it's easy. Like it's not hard to make vods. It just takes up time, and I just didn't have time. Sure. I could still probably make them. I kind of want to make like a separate channel for like older 3ds vods, just like an archive. Uh, yeah, you know what? You should do that. I, I have uh, some. I have a 3DS playlist I was going to start making. Oh, Shin with the Falco? He's bringing him back? No way. But it's... I wonder if he's actually trying. Because he was messing around earlier. I, don't know, I saw that ledge drum back here. I feel like he might be. He might be. But yeah, no, dude. Oh, yeah, that's another thing. Because, like, um, the, Sam, the Samba Icon versus Neo crew battle, I had the full VOD from Kedemiya on the old computer. It's corrupted now. It doesn't work. Uh... So it's lost a time. We only have the Twitch clips. Which kind of sucks, because that was, like, the definitive 3DS send-off, you know? Yeah. The server's still around. Like, I still remember the ending result, because, like, we ended up winning, what, like, 2 nothing? Yeah, because uh, Diesel got the flame choke on Sassy to end it. You know, one thing I was thinking about was, like, Man, making a documentary for 3DS would be extremely challenging because there's like next to no recordings. Mm -hmm. So like, I'm not even sure how we would like tell the storyline of like, hey, uh, RPZ, uh, RPZ was like this extremely dominant player, but hey, you're not gonna see that. And then well, uh, Zero Jose, no, uh, nowhere. Yeah, so well, that's like, why the doc stands for documentation project. You know, it's not doesn't stand for documentary. We don't wanna. Yeah. 
Because I remember initially I thought about just doing like a full scale documentary. That was the initial plan. And then I was like, how do we do this? Because time was of the essence. The longer we wait, the less like footage we have. And then, yeah, then that like computer incident happened. And then I'm like, uh oh. Now we really don't have footage. I wonder if there's a way to fix it. Also, there's an entire like two years worth of foot like from like late 2015 to like early 2017. There really isn't a lot of footage because it was mainly just K. Day Mia. He was the only like consistent streamer that had vods available, and we didn't like save them, you know. And it's not like he uploaded to his YouTube channel. Him or Gemini. It's a real shame that we didn't save from uh, so many of these like stream tournaments granted i don't think anybody really thought about it because like one of the big reasons i started streaming was like 3ds like the scene was kind of seen as a joke and i was like we don't have like a hub for like tournaments sure. with streams and vods and so on and so forth like you know production quality and all that fun stuff and like i i didn't even try to start doing that until like late 2016 and i didn't start saving stuff until like literally over a year later like going into 2018 almost you know by then the game was dead or not dead like it ended up dying because you know ultimate uh, yeah ultimate already out at that point or coming out so like people were waiting they didn't care anymore yeah i mean you got to think too like we only had four years you know like we would have had to have been on this from like the get-go and 3ds streaming is just so hard you know Shin kind of went off that game, low key. Yeah. Now Shing is. He's going for like a, a long run. Like, he, he would got sent, sent to losers like round two. And probably like beating like five people. And yeah, now game. he's decided to try, like. Sheesh. Yeah, I hope he wins. That would, that would be awesome. This in intense, like, loser's run. Hey, how come it says, like, 1 2? You 2 is winning. Yeah, 2 1. <laughs> Shing has to, like, reverse 3 0. He could do it, though, I believe, I believe. Who was uh, Shane playing? Was he playing Taco the entire time? No, uh, game one was Luigi, game two was Sonic. And then he, he finally brought out the Falco. Uh, this is hype. You know what, let's actually commentate. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's, let's try to commentate now, yeah. Let's, let's actually do our job. <laughs> <laughs> I've just been, like, looking in the background, and I was like, oh, wow, yeah, no, he's kind of going off. <laughs> yeah, we're just, like, so busy reminiscing. <laughs> True. Yeah. And me and Ken and Red were reminiscing like uh, yesterday morning. Mm -hmm. We just look at old memes. This is this is gonna be an interesting matchup. It's like two. This is the mid off basically. Two like m mid characters or kind of low key low tier characters like Hulk and Roy. Yeah, they're definitely like mid tier, I think. Because I remember uh, there was like some high level play with Falco. Uh, AK plays him, and uh, for Roy, I think uh, Como Como Como. How do you say his name, man? Como, Como Rakiri. Yeah. He yeah. He captained um, Captain Zach with Roy, and he won. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. So, like, there was some play with these characters. That's not safe. You can't do that. Yeah. You two is too good for that. He's doing a really good job at, like, catching these juggles. Falco's a weird character, like, because new Falco, you know, great uh, vertical movement, horizontal movement's kind of so-so, you know? But we'll see. Okay, he has him off the stage. Okay, down throw. Oh, he tried to read an air dodge with the up smash. I think Ching sucked that. No, he tried to catch him. Get him back alive with that back air. I'm surprised yeah. he didn't laser first to try to, like, catch something. Because Roy, that fire is, like, pretty good at stuffing stuff out. I don't think, uh, he likes the laser. Unless, like, you're really far away. Mm -hmm. I mean, it would just beat out Roy's recovery and it gives him more time to set something up. 
but now because now U two has max rage, you know, or not max rage, but bullshit rage, rage. you know. <laughs> max rage for Roy is absolute. Yeah, he's not bullshit. there yet, but Falco, yeah. he's kind of always had this problem. Like it's really hard to seal out, you know, stock sometimes. Sometimes, yeah. He was but able to get the backer though. That's nice. I think, um, yeah, I'm, gonna call, I'm about to call you two Mr. Rich for, but like he's winning these scramble situations, and that's like what's causing this, uh, I guess. Bro, he looks like Rich time. right now, the way he's, you know, controlling neutral. Yeah, I was wondering why he kept doing that. Because it doesn't like two frame, I think. No, he's trying to trade. If he wants to trade, though, I feel like down air might be a little better, just because like if it trades and connects, it's a down air. But oh, that was such a good high recovery. Shin wasn't ready. No, why did he do that? Okay. And he's sharking under the platform. You do. He's starting to run away with it. Shin really has to. Yeah. It's fun hand. Yeah, it's just really difficult. Falco doesn't have the same... Like, you have up throw back air, kind of, if they don't DI, you know. But outside of that, you have to seal out stocks with edge guarding, and it's really hard to, you oh, know, contest Roy up B. There's the laser. Please go off stage. Or actually, don't. Uh, he's like... You know, Shing is like um, half wanting to commit off stage and half not wanting to do that. And that's like getting him hit. Yeah. Oh, that was such a good ledge trump back here. That's death. Falco's dead. If he times this... Oh, counter? No. Falco recovery. Just not good enough. u is gonna take it. You. Oh, yo, Cursed is in the chat. No, wait, my go. Cursed? Oh, who's Cursed? Cursed Tegu, the Bayo player. Oh, hey. Yeah. What's up, Tegu? Bro, my man. 